In today's video, I'm going to give you part one of a free scheme from the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, I just want to encourage you to uh, watch the video all the way through. What I try to do at my YouTube channel is help people get better uh, at the game of Madden, and I do that through uh, tips and videos and books and memberships and different things. So if you're interested in getting better, just stick around, and I'm sure that there's something that's going to be said in this video that's going to help you. Today's video is really a, mon a monumental video in my YouTube channel history. Uh, for those of you guys that are returning members uh, of the channel, I want to encourage you guys to welcome the new guys. And then secondly, really pay attention to what we're going to be doing here. This is going to be something you're not going to want to miss. You're going to want to watch these videos all the way through. What we're doing is basically every day I'm going to give you um, some kind of video that's going to tactically help you create a scheme. So for today, we're doing the starting point, the base play, the base formation for the Arizona Cardinals offense. If you guys remember, uh, I did a video a while back talking about the template, the system, how to create an offense, and it all starts with one play, and then it builds to two, to three, to four, and we kind of try to cap it at about five plays total. So uh, anyways, here, so let's take a look at this. So the formation that I want to break down in Arizona is the spread. That's the formation that, in my opinion, is going to give you the best chance to beat it, beat anything your opponent's going to bring at you. And the cool part about the spread is that it has an inside zone as a quick audible down. The play that I come out in every single time is this play Zona Shallow. I think it gets a lot of things done. Uh, if you're using the New England Patriots, they're perfect for this scheme because they just have so many players that you can plug in. You want to put Gronk at the right slot. That's that's where you want to have him. Um, and then if you, you actually can sub in Julian Edelman into the slot if you'd like. Um, but, you you know, you if you want to just play with the injured players, then you can put Danny Amendola on the outside. So you have options. But I come out in zone of shallow. Now, most defenses are going to come out in a nickel, but – um, they should be coming out in a dime if they were playing to that package. So we'll just come out in a dime. So if you see a look like this where there's only five men in the box, one of the things I like to do is run an inside zone, and I'll do that, and I'll motion Gronk to the left side to get an extra blocker right in here. And as you can see, it turns into a pretty nice little inside zone for you. Um, the actual place you want to run this play, if you're running inside zone, um, what you want to do with this is you want to run it all the way to the left. So basically you're going to swoop it out to the left and you'll see that the, the receivers actually do a pretty good job of blocking. However, the key play that we want to break down here, um, you have a couple things in your quick audibles. And it's always important to know what you have uh, at the line of scrimmage. So you have curl flats. This play is, you will probably call this play the most out of any play that we run uh, in the offense. You also have four verticals. Again, another play that we're going to call a significant amount. We're going to break those two plays down later this week. And then you have uh, PAZ under. This is a play that I probably won't call a ton, but I might call it in red zone situations. All right, so zone is shallow. So what you want to do with this play um, is, is, is basically you're going to take Julian Edelman and you're going to motion him across the formation. So here's your metric. If the defense follows Julian Edelman, right? So if I motion him over, and I'll just give you an example. So here the defense is going to follow him. You see they're going to follow him, follow him all the way across the formation. That's what you want to have happen. That's ideal. Um, and so what we're going to do then is we're going to put Deion Lewis here. Um, we can put him on anything we really want, but I'm going to put him on a curl. We're going to put Brandon Cooks on a isolation route, like a comeback. Or if we can, we're going to put him on a smart routed out route. The first read on this play is the quick out to Julian Edelman. You see right here, it's going to be man to man. So if they come out in man, that's where you're going with the football. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just rocket. I mean, it's just really, really uh, smooth. Now you'll see. If they go man-to-man -man bump, and they bump you on the outside here, and you leave Julian Edelman, you'll see he still gets open on this crosser. Okay, so you can leave him there if you want. The reason I do motion, the reason I do motion is because if the defense goes with you, if the defense goes with you, that tells you that it's probably man-to-man -man coverage. What you can do is you can then hit square, and you can go into... Uh, any of these other plays here uh, from the trips or from the spread. So in a situation where, uh, let's say he doesn't, let's say he stays at home. So you get something like this. Well, if they run man, 
you're going to destroy it even more. As you can see, you're going to destroy man even more. And you'll probably get this most of the time. If you're playing good players, they will do this. Now, what they're going to do to combat it is they're going to go to this Tampa 2, right? And what they're going to do is they're going to base a line of Tampa 2. They're going to come up to you and bump you. So we're going to run, again, our standard thing. And you could put Brandon, if you wanted to, you could put Cooks on a slant. I just think him being on an out route is good as an isolation route. So your first read is to the right. Uh-oh, they're in cover two. So then you can check it down to the back. Or what you can do, actually what I probably want to do with the running back. Uh, let's see here. We probably want to put Dion Lewis on an option route just because it's better than the curl route in terms of the way that it curls. You know, it's just something. If you want to leave him on the curl, you can. But here it is. So you motion him. They go to Tampa 2. And you're going to see that this right here to Gronk. Ah, we couldn't get it. Couldn't fit it in. Normally that will fit right in there um, in that in that window. The other thing you'll have, you'll have a couple of things if they go Tampa 2. Tampa 2 is the best thing that they can run against this. I mean, it's by far the one defense that you're going to have to be able to uh, effectively beat. So you step out in the pocket. And you'll see you have you'll have this deep, basically this really really deep uh, circle route or not circle route, but but like post style route to Hogan. You'll also be able to throw the ball to Gronk. Um, I think we'll actually be able to throw it more than we more than we currently think we will because Gronk. Um, they're probably going to use her, the middle linebacker, which means they're going to jump at Julian Edelman. If they don't, again, you can just check it down to Deion Lewis. And you see this all the time in the real NFL. You see the the routes. At the end of the day, the defense can take away whatever they want, especially in this year's game, the way the game works. Um, you have to be patient on offense. And this little curl route to Deion Lewis, do not underestimate the power that five to seven yards has on your opponent. If you want to check this down, you can. As you can see, he'll and you want a possession catch it. You don't want to aggress it. You, you you really what you want to do is you is you want a possession catch it. Okay. Um, but here we'll show you one other thing on this. So if okay if Gronk uh, gets clearance, you'll see they'll play down. You can high point it and he can go up and catch it for a user uh, not a user catch but just a basically just a high point pass. So you hold L1 and throw it a bullet. That's how you do that. So you got that in your arsenal too. If they, again, that's if he's open in the seams. If that corner follows with him up the seams, you're more than likely, and you can actually check this down. Ah, shoot, messed up. You can actually, if if, if it's late enough in the, in the play, you can actually check it down. Um, if you put... Uh, Dion Lewis on an out route instead of an option route. You can also check it down to him um, in those situations. He'll still serve the same same exact purpose. There's nothing necessarily different to it. But here you'll see if Gronk's covered, you can't throw it, as you can see right there. If 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 the window's not open, there has to be about a five to ten yard window to be able to fit that fit that route in. The cool part about this place is that if they run Tampa two. What most likely will happen is Chris Hogan will come open really late in the play. Okay, um, like I'm talking, I'm talking, you know, four seconds down the road. But if you manage the pocket, so you sit in the pocket, sit in the pocket, sit in the pocket, you'll see he comes open similar to the way they do on Z spot. And what you could, I mean, you can smart route his route to make it go a little shorter. Um, you can do different things like that to help yourself out. But his specific route. Is, uh, is actually a really effective route if you have time in the pocket, uh, which, again, you're, you're not going to throw it unless they've taken away Deion Lewis, Gronkowski, and they can't take the – that's a two-man read that they really can't. Uh, let me show you what happens if you put uh, Deion Lewis on an out route. And you'll see the way this works. We're going to actually give you a, 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 a gameplay breakdown to kind of emulate what we do in our premium guides and our eBooks. But if you put Deion Lewis on an out route, you see here, he's going to be able to get a lot of space too. And outs and ins are just critical to run against the Tampa 2. Let me show you real quickly cover 3 buzz. If they go cover 3, normally you're going to be able to throw the ball to Julian Edelman. Normally. Okay? So right in here you'll see right to the outside. Possession catch it right on the back shoulder there. That's normally what's going to happen. However, if they go hard flat, uh, that's going to make it a little bit harder. To make that throw. 
So what you're going to be able to do, though, is you're normally going to be able to throw it to one of the other two players. So you've got Gronk right at the seam high point. Or you could throw it. In theory, you could just get him the ball. Um, let me show you that real quick. So if we go cover three buzz, they shade their coverage down. What's going to happen is it's going to leave a window wide open for Gronk here. Right in there. And again, um, depending on that safety, how he plays it. If he digs Gronk, if he does take Gronk like he did there, you're going to go to Deion Lewis. It's a, it's a simple, it's a two-man read, okay? Um, I was just forcing it into Gronk to try to show you the, the route. But basically, you want to look if he's in this seam right in here. Right in here. That's where you're throwing it. Right in there. Um, and normally, again, I say possession catch. The timing is critical in this game with the way that the uh, safeties play. Okay, so anyways, guys, this is Zona Shallow. It's primarily a man-beating play. It's a play you want to call when you're facing man-to-man. -man. You don't want to call it... Oh, shoot, must have messed something up here. You don't want to call it um, if you're facing a lot of zone. What you would really like to do is read the zone and then react and call something like a four verticals, which we'll talk about uh, tomorrow uh, as a nice little play you can use uh, if you really want to beat some zone coverage. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you that to just hit the subscribe button. Uh, just hit the subscribe button because that way it's free. There's no charge. There's no real consequence. All it's going to do is give you access to 